Hi. I'd like us to look at how we can identify missing values in our study. Okay. So if I have this data set coded already into the SPSS, one of the things I'll first of all have to do is to check whether the data I have coded is okay, whether there are missing values or which we call missing data. So in this particular tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can do that, fish out the, the, the missing values. If, for example, you have imported the data from, from Microsoft Excel sheet, chances are that there could be missing values, okay? And then if you want to use it to run analysis without checking, sometimes chances are that, that uh, you may not be able to uh, uh, achieve the aim of that study. For example, if you want to test, uh, want to run a regression analysis where you may have to use uh, Bootstrap, uh, the analysis will not be able to go on because uh, uh, the Bootstrap, the Bootstrap uh, confidence and interval will not be able to uh, run. Now, if you look at this data set, it might be very difficult for you to go on to check or to identify the particular uh, uh, item with the missing information. So one of the things you might need to do is to come to this particular point, okay? And then this will help you to go through to know whether you have uh, whether the you might identify the particular areas where you have the missing values, okay? Uh, if you use this, if you use this uh, button, okay, and then you can run your eyes on on the the data set, okay. For example, here you can see that this is this is coded three. Okay, uh, this is three, three. Okay, so let's get to the variable view. If we go to the variable view under labels for uh, gender, you can see that we coded, this is one equal to male, two equal to female. So that is why SPSS could not recognize three, the value of three, this three, because it was not coded. It was not, uh, the SPSS wasn't instructed what to do with the value of three under gender, okay? So you need to go back to your, uh, to your, the source of your file and then be able to learn what actually was coded there or whether there was a missing value from the original uh, source that where the person responded or completed the questionnaire, okay? Now, another way you can also check for missing value is you can come to analyze, use descriptive statistics, use frequencies, okay? So you need to check the variables, the items, one after the other. You don't need to check any statistics. You don't need to use mean or standard deviation as the case may be. You don't need to do that. Just ensure that you leave this button on. Yeah, ensure you leave this button on, this particular button on, and then click OK, all right? So if I check here, you will see that under work placement learning, under the items I've coded here, that there's a missing value here. You see missing, you see missing. Uh, there are no missing values here except here, and this is second to the last. So I will go back to the SPSS. Uh, I will check second to the last. Second to the last, that is this, okay? So I will come to this point and carefully look. I will come to the second to the to the last item there and then look, okay? That is this particular place. I will look through to see whether um, I can identify this particular um, response that is causing uh, this, this, this problem check carefully and then to identify that particular so you can see here this is the particular um, item that where i have the missing value so what i need to do is to go back to the original document and then be able to find out and then be able to identify that particular um variable or what the respondent actually checked there and then i'll now use it to um, fix here okay then I will also check, 
I'll go back to the frequency table so i have to do that one after the other and then that will enable me to find out those areas where i have missing values i will do the same thing here then you can see uh self-efficacy six um item six i have a missing value there so i will come to the spss and check and check now supposing that here that i have checked the original value that it is for example that the respondent uh, said uh, said five or click three i will simply put three here that is if i have checked the original value or original if i have checked the original document where the the respondent ticked supposing that person said it's three okay tick three there undecided i will come and fix three here this is please note that this is for the purpose of tutorial and not uh this is not what is, is supposed to be okay so because you need to carefully check okay so under item six which is the last one uh if i go back to the to the output and i can see it's uh, self-efficacy six so i will come back to self-efficacy six and then i will check here oh okay so you can see this particular um, item here that's a missing value there now if i had gone to uh, the original data for example and then uh, it appears that the respondent had ticked say four or maybe three or maybe two or whatever so let us assume that that person responded four okay or maybe two as the case maybe maybe two and i will simply fix two here then I'll go back and check the other one. So this is how you have to do that one after the other. And then um, please note that having a missing value in your data is not abnormal because uh, sometimes people may fill your questionnaire out of uh, just by chance. Oh, let me just fill it and so you take it, right? So that is why I always recommend using an online approach where where you can allow the respondent enough time uh, then turn your design your questionnaire such that it becomes very very uh it becomes compulsory that the respondent must have to respond to every uh question that you that you've um, developed such that without responding to all the questionnaire uh you they will not be able to submit that another approach you might use to evade the issue of me having missing data in your work is is to allow the respondents enough time to respond to your instrument for example you can give them up to uh one week or some days so they can carefully go through the uh the survey and then tick where appropriate okay now when you now run the the analysis again um, you can see that you may likely not have missing values okay uh, let's see okay so we go back to so you can see here that all the variables here we we don't have missing values again so you can see on that missing here we don't have um, any other missing value here then when you look down up to this point you can see that the responses are now correct and complete okay so this is how you can check and detect where you have missing values in your study okay this is very very important because with missing values you may not be able to run some uh, some stronger analysis for example if you want to use this data for um, structural equation modeling uh, and higher regression analysis you, you, you really need to make sure that you don't have missing data although there are some statistical analysis you can use to uh, to to run analysis with missing data okay but if you want to run analysis and uh, using bootstrap bootstrap method you must have to ensure that your data is complete okay so thank you very much i hope you find this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching you can always leave your comments there so i'll be able to understand the areas that you, you need further clarifications and then i'll be able to clarify you i'll be able to uh, drop some uh, more videos to clarify some of those things in the new in the next tutorial thank you very much